Hello everyone. Uh, I welcome you all in this video. Uh, in this video, we are going to discuss about one of the advanced manufacturing process that is uh, electron beam machining. Uh, in this uh, this process, uh, we also call this process as a high energy density process is uh, we are using uh, electron beam uh, for the machining purpose. So uh, the electron beam, uh, which has uh, a very high energy, high energy density. So that's why we call this as a high energy density process. Okay. So in this process, uh, there will be a bombardment. There will be a bombardment of intense beam of electrons on the target material okay so uh, because uh, of the bombardment of the intense beam on of the electrons uh, which targets over the work workpiece or the material the material is removed when there will be a bombardment it means uh, means uh, when uh, this electrons which are uh, in the flowing in the beam uh, they they have a very high velocity and because of this uh, high velocity there will be a great uh, kinetic energy means it has a very high kinetic energy and because of this bombardment over the workpiece surface this kinetic energy is converted into the thermal energy this thermal energy is causes the rise in temperature, which is above uh, 25 degrees centigrade, 2500 degrees centigrade. And because of uh, this rise, this because of this rise in temperature in this range, uh, not only the material uh, melt, uh, not only this melt, but it evaporate from the uh, workpiece workpiece surface okay so this is a, a simple uh, working and the principle of this uh, electron beam machining uh, okay so in this video uh, we are going to discuss about the principle along with that working uh, we'll also discuss about uh, the process requirements or we can say process uh, parameters that we will discuss along with the working. Uh, we'll also discuss about the advantages, uh, limitations, and the applications. Okay. So in this video, uh, we are going to discuss about uh, these elements. So let's start with the working uh, and the principal part. So uh, for that, I'm using this figure uh, to understand it. But uh, is uh, first of all, I'm just uh, telling about what, what these elements are. But uh, is uh, there are a number of ele elements uh, we are using in this electron beam machining. So uh, in this electron beam machining, in this video, we are just uh, we are not discussing about the principle or the working of these elements. Okay, but simply I'm just telling you what these elements are and how the working of this uh, electron beam machining. Okay, so in this uh, first of all, the vacuum chamber. Okay, all the process, everything, uh, the machining from the beginning to the end, uh, the generation of the electron beam is happen inside the vacuum chamber. Now, first of all, uh, usually whatever the machining we have seen previously or uh, any machines, any machining apart from it is happen in the atmospheric, uh, at, in the atmosphere. Okay, so uh, there is no need to generate the vacuum, but uh, as uh, this process is happened in the vacuum chamber, so first of all, we have to create the vacuum inside the chamber. So for that, uh, we need uh, the temp pressure ranges that is 10 to the power minus four to 10 to the power minus five, or sometimes we use 10 to the power minus six, that is in tor. Okay, so this tor is also the pressure unit. So uh, you will get it very easily. What is the conversion of this kilopascal pascal or in bar of this tor? Okay, so uh, for uh, creation of this vacuum, we need this much amount of the pressure in tor. Okay, so that uh, once this uh, pressure is uh, at chamber, uh, the, this pressure of this chamber is reached, uh, this create the vacuum. Okay. Now, uh, there are three elements in this, uh, but here I'm just uh, simply telling that this is a cathode part. Okay, so this is negative. Now, in this uh, cathode, there are three elements, which is first of all, that is the electron gun. Okay, the purpose of electron gun is to generate the electrons or uh, to 
introduce or to streams the electrons from the uh, means uh, to streams the electrons okay so after that uh, this portion this curved shape in, at this uh, which is in from if we look at this side then it will be concave okay and this portion this portion is call it as a grid cap okay uh, now uh, why uh, there is a that we are using this concave shape why we are using concave i uh, will tell you later on in the working part so after that that we we are using this filament so this filament we call this as uh, this filament this is a filament basically so this filament is all uh, is made up of the tungsten or tantalum okay means generally uh, the temp uh, the material which is uh, greater than the which absorbs uh, or resists the 2500 degree centigrade or above that okay so that element we are using of that uh, material of this filament next to it there is an anode part okay so basically the power supply is connected between the cathode and the anode okay uh, next is uh, we are using the diaphragm uh, why sometimes uh, in some of the figure in some of the books uh, if you will go through this process you will see that uh, uh, some of the books are using diaphragm and some are not using this diaphragm so why they are using and why they are not using i will tell you in the working part for, for the time being just understand it after the anode there is a diaphragm okay next to it there is a electromagnetic lenses uh, now uh, we also call this electromagnetic lenses are a focusing lens okay uh, also here uh, in some of the books you will get to know that uh, they are using some deflecting coils or deflecting uh, deflecting units they are using okay deflecting units or deflecting coils okay so it depends uh, i will tell you why again uh, there is the same functionality of this diaphragm and this uh, deflecting coils next to it there is a work piece and this work piece is mounted over the work uh, table so this is a table now everything all the elements uh, inside this vacuum chamber so this vacuum chamber is uh, he, uh, here which is uh, controlled everything uh, inside of it okay so this these are the elements uh, that are used in the electron beam machining now uh, we are going to discuss about the working part now uh, this uh, this is the electron gun as i said that uh, electro the purpose of this electron gun is to generate the electrons or to streams the electrons now once the electrons if we are using a simply uh, okay sorry sorry i forgot uh, this uh, complete part i am telling that this is a cathode okay now this cathode is connected with the anode with the dc power supply okay this is a positive and this is negative now this dc power supply which we are using here we are using the dc power supply and the voltage that uh, we are using over here in this ebm that is in the range of uh, 30 kilo volt to 175 kilo volt so this is a volt category and uh, to generate the uh, power we need the ampere as well uh, current so that we are using in the 50 milli ampere uh, to that is in the range of 50 milliampere to 1000 uh, milliampere okay so this is the range of this current and this is the range of the potential difference okay so this much amount of the potential difference is created between the cathode and the anode so if uh, this uh, potential difference is large then the acceleration acceleration of this electrons is also high okay so to increase this acceleration of these electrons we need a high voltage or high potential difference so the high potential difference is created because of that the more amount uh, uh, the high velocity electrons are generated from the electron guns uh, is uh, the once uh, these electron uh, electrons come outside uh, from this electron guns they will disperse or they will move diverse means they will move in random in direction now uh, to control this random direction because if they will move random in direction then our purpose will of this process yeah, electron beam machining will not fulfill okay uh, because in this process we need a beam and beam uh, means uh, beam means all the electrons should come at a particular point okay they start bombarding over a particular point okay if they will disperse in this random in direction then our purpose will not be fulfilled so uh, for that uh, we are using this uh, yeah 
for that uh, we are using this uh, grid cap now uh, the grid cap is basically a concave in shape in this direction so whatever the electrons that will that are coming uh, they will uh, come inside this uh, grid cap and they start is uh, the direction uh, provided by this surface area of this grid cap is concave so they will move in this direction okay now when they will move in this direction at this uh, some time after some time they will make a point or a beam okay now uh, also after the grid cap we are using this filament part okay now this filament as i told that that is made up of the tungsten or tantalum uh, which is a need uh, which can be resist a uh, high temperature above this 25 to 100 degree centigrade why we are using it because uh, is uh, this electrons which is uh, which are uh, coming from the grid cap basically they uh, they are colliding with this uh, filament okay when they will uh, collide with this filament because of this collision they get a direction okay when they get a direction means they start moving in this direction vertically downward okay so for that we are using this filament now uh, it doesn't mean uh, when as they are moving uh, they are colliding over here and they are start moving in this direction it depends that how much amount of the length of this filament we are using generally it is very less okay so uh, like uh, it depends on the surface area as well of this grid cap because uh because uh sometime uh, like uh, those electrons which are over here if they will collide from this then okay they will start moving in this direction but here if the length we are using up to here and the electron which is coming in this direction they will move over here so they will not collide with this filament so they will not move in this direction if they will not move and whatever the ele electrons which is coming uh, in a particular line they will collide with this and they will also uh, get uh, dispersed okay they will get a deflect from their path so so uh, we cannot say that uh, uh, 100% of the electron start moving in particularly in this direction so that they make a beam well, because of that only we are using this uh, these things okay so uh, uh, the purpose is like uh, at least they start moving in a single direction okay so when they start moving in this direction first of all here we are assuming two things first is like uh, whatever this uh, this beam is uh, the, these electrons are coming they make a beam uh, at the uh, center of this anode part okay which is a uh, positive so if they are making the uh, center at the uh, in between the anode part okay then uh, there is uh, at the anode part then there is no need to use the diaphragm okay because uh, now uh, they have formed a beam okay again they will uh, uh, they will uh, disperse but uh, the beam is formed at least uh, once the beam is formed now uh, we are using diaphragm because sometimes we will see that uh, this they are not making a single beam in at the anode part but they are making some uh, beam so if they are not making beam at the in between the anode part then we have to use the diaphragm so the purpose of diaphragm is to deflect or means they resist basically the electrons so when they will resist they they move inside okay they means they will when they will resist basically they are uh, resist from this side as well so they make a beam inside of this diaphragm okay so for that only we are using this diaphragm okay so again uh, once the beam is complete once the beam is formed uh, they start again uh, di disperse from this diaphragm okay they is, uh, disperse it up to this uh, then we are using this electromagnetic lenses we also call this as a focusing lens so again the purpose of this uh, this purpose i'm not saying about the principle i'm saying the purpose that again uh, they will try to uh, bring it means the purpose of this electron electromagnetic uh, lenses is to converse this electron beam okay converts the path of this electrons okay so they make a beam at the workpiece surface now uh, sometimes uh, they some some of the books differ that they again uh, after the uh, electron electromagnetic lenses they disperse so if they are dispersing then we are using the uh, deflecting coils okay or the deflecting units that we are using so because of that again they make a beam over here in the deflecting or they they will basically uh, 
repel the motion of this which is with the electrons which are uh, dispersed from here so they will repel basically the motion of it and they will make a beam so they are making a beam accordingly we are managing uh, the y motion or uh, vertically upward or downward motion of this workpiece so when uh, this and this electron beam is uh, collide or this bombard over the workpiece surface uh, they will basically uh, convert this kinetic energy into the thermal energy and because of this high temperature uh, the material is made as well as evaporate from the workpiece surface so this is basically a simple working of this uh, this electron beam machining generally uh, this electron beam which are uh, coming once the electron beam is formed they are coming with a very high velocity and this high velocity in the range of 50 into 10 raised to 3 to 200 into 10 raised to 3 km kilo, kilometer per second so this is the range basically okay in this range the electron beam is moves in this direction okay towards the workpiece okay Uh, now uh, there are two things that uh, is i told that uh, when this electron beam is bombarded over the workpiece surface uh, generally uh, this the time that is uh, means how in how much time interval the material is melt when the beam is uh, contact to the workpiece surface so that uh, time generally is assume that is in the range of 10 uh, 10 micron microsecond to Uh, 10 milliseconds so this is a very small timing okay very small interval also uh, there are one more thing that uh, when this beam is collide or bombard over the workpiece surface they will make a spot size okay because uh, as i told that uh, they are uh, beam means uh, when there is a point contacts okay so, uh, all the electrons uh, will come to a point okay so they make a beam so if they uh, if there is a point it means that there is a spot size so that spot size in the range of 10 to 100 micron okay so this is a again very small size uh, that can be uh, that that spot size can be formed by this uh, electron beam machining process okay so this is a very simple working of this electron beam machining Uh, next are the process parameters i think uh, i have already discussed just i'm uh, just uh, i written here so i'm just speaking uh, the heat L heat source is i told that heat source uh, for the heat source means here the heating is done by the electrons so for that we are using the electron gun vacuum chamber is required so the le uh, level of vacuum is maintained in the order of 10 to the power minus 4 to 10 to the power minus 6 torr okay Uh, tungsten filament as i told that uh, electron gun uh, grid cap and the filament is a part of the cathode okay the potential difference in the current range that we have already discussed and the electron uh, would travel in the range of 50000 to 2 lakh km per second so these are the process requirements next is uh, we are going to discuss about the application part so uh, first of all uh, generally is uh, the beam is uh, the beam, if this is a work piece and uh, is uh, this beam is coming over the workpiece surface uh, they will remove the material from the workpiece okay so now uh, once uh, basically they as i told that they are spot sizes there okay so that spot size is in the range of 10 to uh, 100 micron meter so first of all uh, that uh, we can produce this much amount of the small size of the hole okay and uh, whatever the spot is targeted by this uh, electron beam they will remove the material so it will be looks like a hole portion okay so generally uh, is this electron beam is continuously move inside the workpiece material if they make a hole part okay drill hole so uh, that's why you written over here that drill hole uh, which is can be metal or non metal the size is as small as 100 or 10 micrometer okay and uh, the is uh, there is uh, as i said that uh, there is there is very high thermal energy is generated because of the high temperature okay so because of this high temperature whatever the material is melted they will it will evaporate so when it will evaporate it means that there is no chips no micro chips when there is no chips it means that uh, the surface finished is quite good is there will be uh, 
the surface will be free from the burrs okay and uh, that will uh, also provide a rounding of edge for the hole okay now uh, as uh, we are using uh, this for the drill hole okay or making a hole purpose so uh, on the basis of that uh, this process can be applicable for the uh, making dies in the wire drawing or the extrusion process they also make uh, the uh, profile shape holes or round shape holes uh, on the sleeve walls also they uh, these holes are produced or cylindrical forms to be generated over the uh, rocket fuel injectors okay so these are the application part of this electron beam machining where uh, this this machining is used okay next to it is uh, advantages first advantage is the aspect ratio the aspect ratio means uh, the if uh, the any workpiece material uh, the, the if this is a width and this is height then uh, this width to height ratio we call this as a 100 uh, sorry aspect ratio so this is in the range of uh, 100 is to 1 so this is quite good aspect ratio that is maintained or that is uh, machined by this uh, electron beam machining it is also a very fast process because uh, only the time is consumed in this process is to uh, uh, to create the vacuum uh, okay to create the vacuum and the setup process otherwise uh, the uh, the machining is done by very easily and a very short period of time because uh, the velocity of this electron beam is quite high okay so because of that it is very a uh, fast process and uh, the accuracy uh, generally uh, we are getting in this process that is in the range of uh, plus uh, plus minus 0.03 mm to plus minus 0.005 mm so this is also a quite uh, good uh, from this this prospect okay next is uh, limitations so limitations are uh, i can simply tell these uh, limitations are like uh, this is sorry okay so like this is a workpiece and uh, there are like uh, these are the electron uh, electromagnetic lenses okay em lens and this is workpiece so as uh, the beam is uh, come over the uh, once this is convergent and converged and the uh, they will bombard over the workpiece surface uh, is uh, is i said that uh, this process is basically electron beam machining means uh, whatever the material is removed is because of the beam it's not because of uh, the random uh, these uh, diversity diversified electrode okay it was it, it is not because of the deflected electrode or diversified electrodes electrons but it is a beam because of the beam okay so is uh, once if this distance if this distance is maintained between the electron uh, electromagnetic lenses and the workpiece okay once this portion is removed now uh, this length when you will compare from this uh, from the when you will measure from the electromagnetic lens it has been increased this was h1 now the h2 is uh, greater than h1 now it means that now uh, when this uh, beam was formed at h1 height now this may or may not be there uh, this beam is formed at h2 height if it will not form h2 then there we have to maintain this electromagnetic lenses uh, with some uh, moving mechanism which is vertically vertically upward or downward so that this if this this uh, whatever the height that is h1 is maintained between the workpiece and the electromagnetic lenses it will maintain throughout the it will maintain throughout the material or drilling of this process okay so this is a first limitation okay so it's uh, this mechanism this moving mechanism is very difficult to maintain over the electromagnetic lenses yeah there is a one more thing that uh, we can maintain over uh, we can provide this uh, with the tool uh, on the table like feed vertically feed we can provide this uh, workpiece surface okay so it will move vertically as uh, this is as this height is constant if you have to maintain this height constant then we can move this vertical uh, workpiece vertically upward but again uh, is uh, it will move upward we have to see look at this surface this distance because uh, because uh, this h1 uh, should be uh, 
greater than what the height of this workpiece we are maintaining otherwise what will happen that after some time it will collide with this electro this workpiece surface these surfaces will collide with this electromagnetic lenses so there will be a loss okay so we have to maintain so this one of the limitation another is uh, like uh, we have to create the vacuum okay and uh, generally uh, this process is applicable uh, for uh, generally this process is means we are doing everything in a, a vacuum environment so for whole room we cannot make uh, maintain the vacuum process it will be like a simply a cylinder a cylinder portion cylindrical portion is there okay and limitations some size constraints are there okay because of the size constraints uh, there is a limit in the uh, size of the workpiece as well okay and if there is a limit of the size uh, of the workpiece then whatever the vacuum is created for uh, that will be used for the uh, one single machining process only if we have to maintain uh, if we have to put the other second job then we have to release this vacuum and again we have to create uh, means we have to put the second job and we have to create the vacuum and similarly for the third fourth fifth like that okay so there will be a huge loss of the money or uh, the loss of the money to create the vacuum for this uh, machining process okay so these are the uh, two uh, two simply uh, process uh, limitations of this uh, process okay so this is all from my side for this uh, electron beam machining processes uh, also if you want to study more then you can go uh, through these uh, two references okay so thank you so much guys